going to show you how to make a home incubator. Real simple. Very, very simple. I have no more room in my incubators for my hatching eggs and have to build another one. I'm having to use one of these as a brooder now instead of an incubator. Um, it's just a regular styrofoam you know, chest that you would find at any veterinarian supply, um, you know, any kind of store that has vaccines, things like that. Normally they throw them away, so why not recycle them? So here we go. Um, I normally like to have a window. This is an old piece of plexiglass from Home Depot. They were going to throw away. It still has the plastic coating on it. I like being able to see in my incubator without having to open it so much. So I like being able to cut out a hole to be able to watch what's going on in there. So I draw around. The little plexiglass. You want to cut it a little bit smaller than the, the actual drawing because you want to put that on there and you know have something for it to stay on. So I take a knife. A serrated knife works a lot better than most. you have little hatchies. your window and I also like 
Or you want to do with it? For extra protection, to hold it, I usually use aluminum tape, but right now I'm out, so. Barking. I guess she wanted her two cents in. inside now. Alright, so now <clears throat> on the side, I went to Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, all of them carry it. This one came from Ace Hardware. It's just a light. With maybe just a cord and everything. I want to mount this little guy right about there. So that's going to be your heat for the incubator. I draw him out and very carefully cut again. You guys out there probably have a better way of doing this than me. But this incubator does work. I've hatched so many things out of these styrofoam coolers. And like I said, why throw them away if you have a use for them? So. And poke it right through. Ta-da! And you have a nice hole. this thing on the outside. So I also use the armor glue again just to kind of keep it in there, keep it set, you know, where it doesn't move around. I mean, armor glue, you can remove it if you don't want it there no more or have to make a new one, which this guy should last a long time. tape, but it's just so I feel better about the light bulb being against the styrofoam. Cut little strips. And put it around the light bulb. Light bulb hole. Just kind of protect that styrofoam from getting too warm. Incubator, you have all these free materials laying around. 
items that can be recycled instead of being trashed. And I have a light bulb here, just a fluorescent light bulb. Um, you can, you know, see what works best for you. Um, gosh, this one's a 13 watt. They make them in lower wattages at Ace Hardware, just in case it's too hot for you and you can't get it cool down. I like putting chicken wire around it, that way the biddies don't get their heads hung in the spiral. So. sliding. I put that on the very bottom. See, fits in there really nice. Then I also cut pieces of wood. You can put them in the bottom as well. That way you can elevate your cartons. And you do this two to three times a day. You know, switching sides and you can cut, cut a smaller piece and put it on this side as well and do the same thing. But let's get the top on. Oh, yes. Thermometers. I always work with two. I have one that I got, like I said, at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. It does the humidity, temperature, everything. And this one is just a reptile one that you'd find at the reptile store. It does humidity and it also does the temperature. So I usually like working with two at first just to make sure I get my temperature right and to kind of watch it. So after I get my holes drilled, I'll put the thermometer in. Nice little drill. So I just drill random holes. There's your incubator. Um, the holes on the sides. I drilled two holes on the top. One for my thermometer to go in. Um, you want the thermometer about an inch, maybe two inches away from the bottom. Um, I added a little bit of water for humidity. Um, I live in Florida so I don't have to add too much humidity. But here is my thermometer. The one with the cord. I watch that to see how warm it gets inside. Here's the inside of the incubator. You can lay the eggs loosely and just flip them by hand two to three times a day or you can do these egg cartons and the piece of wood. Um, you take the wood and of course it's hard to do one-handed. 
you know, you just kind of tilt your eggs two to three times a day. Just tilt them. When you have two hands, it's easier. <laughs> um, but if for some reason the incubator goes, I usually keep mine between 99 and 100 degrees. If it gets too hot in there, drill more holes. If for some reason you drilled more holes than you should have and it stays too cool, take some tape and just, you know, taper up. Um, it's as easy as that. Um, the humidity is different between ducks and guineas and chickens, so do some research on what your humidity should be. Um, like I said, the humidity could be just a little thing of water just set in there. That is perfect for humidity. But there is your homemade incubator out of an old recycled styrofoam cooler that was going to be trashed. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.